Well, hello there. My name is John from Cooking Around the World. I decided a while back now to try and cook one or two or even three dishes from every country in the world. Right, this is what we're going to be cooking today. This absolutely gorgeous steak and kidney pie. I'm not going to say any more. Let's just get on and cook it. Well, today's country is the United Kingdom. And we're going to do a really traditional meal today. We're going to make a steak and kidney pie. The, good th the thing about kidney is with a bit of pepper, it really comes alive. So that's what we'll be aiming for in today's recipe. I'm going to chop up this um, steak and the onion and we'll get underway. Right, that's our steak all chopped up. Um, and now we're going to wait for this pan to heat up. We've got a little bit of um, butter in there and a little bit of rice bran oil. And as soon as that comes up to heat, we'll pop our steak in. Meanwhile, I'll chop the onion. Right, from the sounds that the pan is making, it's definitely time for our steak. Well, that's looking just great now. So, in with our kidney. And in with our onions. Let's give them about another 10 minutes and then we'll add our seasonings. Right, now it's time to crumble two stock cubes, beef stock cubes, into the frying pan here. And then we'll stir that and then we'll add a little bit of pepper. It's a good idea to make sure that you have cooked your um, kidney and steak properly before you go diving in there and tasting. And we want to see, even though this is a low salt stock cube, uh, we want to see what that imparts to the flavour of this filling before we add salt and pepper and etc. So there we are, two stock cubes in there and two cups of water. Now we're going to keep this in the frying pan uh, so that we get the required amount of evaporation. Once we start, okay, that liquid is starting to come down a bit now. We can add our two mushrooms. Now mushrooms are really important for meat pies. Basically we're trying to get the meat as tender as possible. But we still want to have a kind of chewiness to the filling. And that's where the mushrooms come in. So that's why, that's why so many meat pies have mushrooms in them. So that we can maintain that texture but still have that beautiful, beautiful tenderness of the meat. Right, I think another half an hour and that liquid should have subsided and we should have a nice thick sauce that we can stir the butter into. Now, we've got to the point where the liquid content is ideal, but it's not quite thick enough. So, we're going to take a tablespoon of corn flour and two tablespoons of water, mix them together in a ramekin, and we're going to pour this in to thicken up our mixture here. So we have the right thickness of the gravy. That's beautiful. Now one more touch to this gravy. We're going to put 
a wee knob of butter in there, maybe a little bit more. And this will give it a beautiful, beautiful shine. I'll mix that through and then we'll come back. I nearly forgot the black pepper. <laughs> Let's give this a good grind. It's absolutely essential this black pepper. And don't be shy with it either. It's what makes the flavours all sing, especially the kidney. That's, oh gosh, that looks so, so beautiful. Let's have a little bit of a taste before we leave, take it off the heat. This needs a little bit of salt. Pepper is right on the money though. There we go, we'll get another clean spoon. Number of teaspoons I go through just from tasting. Right. Mm. Perfect. Right, I'm going to let that cool. While I'm doing that, I'm going to prepare the pastry. Now, for those of you who've seen me do this before, um, <laughs> it might be a bit boring. But for those of you who are new, well, you're in for what some would describe as a treat. So, about a centimetre more circumference than the pie dish itself. That's for the bottom of your pie. Alright, and we're going to, or I'm going to, just pop a bit of flour on the bottom of it as well. And I'll show you how to get it right into the pie. So, just press it down. Just work your way around so that it goes into the pie dish evenly. And then hold it with your knuckle and stretch it over. Right, and this is to give the lid something to bind to. Right, there we are. And then on to the next one and the next one, etc. I'll come back when it's time to fill these. Right, we're now ready to fill our pies. Now don't try and overfill them, because if you do, you'll have things squirting out the side and you won't be very happy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look how shiny that gravy is. That's beautiful. Let's get our lid on. And just press it with your thumbs. Then get your knife. Go around the outside. Like this. There we are. And now crimping. Use a fork gives a beautiful design and fuses the face pastry together. There we are. And then about four stabs on the top. And I'll do 
do the rest of them probably a little bit quieter all right I'll come back when we've got all four ready to go into the oven right and here they are four beauties I'll put these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees and then I'll get them out have a wee look at them they should be ready also be sure to put these in the bottom of the oven so that the base of the pie cooks well and doesn't fall apart okay fresh out of the oven that's exactly 30 minutes and we're going to dive in while it's still hot Ooh. Look at that. Mm. Oh, so gorgeous. Wow. Mm. Let's have a little, a little bit closer look at this, shall we? Probably have another wee taste, shall we? This bit of meat and mushroom and kidney that's falling out the front. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. There you go. Thank you. Hang on, I'll just finish. Right, thank you so much for watching this. This has been very rewarding. Um, there's a lot of recipes out of the UK. I've cooked toad in the whole Lancashire hot pot. The list goes on. But this is just, this is uh, a level above steak and kidney pie. Give it a go and I will catch you on my next recipe.